So if you go to e um, Egypt, um, the Egyptian pyramids are made out of limestone. So that's how it's solved. Calcium is very important in building because calcium, if you add it to cement, it stabilizes the cement. It prevents the cement from breaking, from, from it cracking. So if you, if you know these things, you can buy your own calcium in a powder sense, and you can add it to concrete, and it will stabilize the concrete. So when you become a welder, you can actually do things. You don't need to you can do your own drive, your driveway. I mean, it's going to take some time. You're going to have to... Uh, for some of your friends, you can set it up and then have the cement truck come in. But if you want to do it manually, it's going to take a little time to do it in session. You can't do it in a rush, right? Do a little session, 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 right? Uh, until it gets done, right? So, um, so Castia uh, is found, a uh, limestone is found all over the world, you know, Mississippi, Colorado, the Appalachian Mountains, even in New York, to find limestone. So that's what I'm trying to get you to understand what we're, what we're talking about. We're not talking about the food calcium, we're talking about the stone calcium, which, of course, they can convert this into, uh, uh, they can put this into your body, the burning, the calcium, but into international units, I mean, small amounts for us to consume. Like iron, iron is, is, is in your, iron is in your vitamins, right? Iron is, is uh, helps with the heat. Like if you're tired a lot, it's probably a high efficiency, right? So, but we're not getting into nutrition, we're getting into metals. Iron and carbon make steel, right? Uh, so you have calcium, which is like I said, the fifth most abundant. Iron is the fourth most abundant. Five percent, five percent of your earth is iron. Five percent of your earth's crust is iron. Five percent. So iron, mostly 70%, over 70% of the metal that we use in this, in this in, in New York, in, in the United States, is domestic. We don't depend on anybody to give us metal. We recycle it, and we get it mostly from, from our recycling, you know, of reusing the metal. There's, but some of it, yeah, it just comes from other places, and it stays here, right? It just it, it lands here with products and stuff, and then our um, you know, stuff has to be discarded, so. But uh, carbide or coke, which uh, it comes from, uh, it's a coal by product, it's charcoal, it's the coal, it's a rock. It's 70 to 80 percent of pure carbon comes from, and that's how they made a settling gas. Settling gas is, it comes from carbon, which comes from coke. That's where the carbon comes to make the settling, okay? And then you have hydrogen, which is the most abundant element, right? We talked about hydrogen and gases previously. Uh, they synthesize these two elements together and they produce the gas. That only was produced in 1836 by a man called Edmund Davy Humphrey. Davy Humphrey is the one that, that discovered uh, the electron flow. He connected the terminals to a battery, the positive and the negative, and was able to produce electron flow. That was Davy Humphrey. So they be hungry, all right? Uh, they, they're, they're chemists, all right? They're chemists. They, they're known to, to have discovered a lot of some elements, you know? So if you look at the periodic table of elements, they'll come up, okay? Uh, but of course, somebody, they're tied, and okay, it goes to another level, but he was the one that was the first time here. So, electrolysis is where they could take, they get water and burn electricity through it, and, uh, there's a positive terminal and a negative terminal, so if they're able to separate the elements, okay? So, uh, so they're able to separate the elements from, uh, they're able to separate the, the carbon, uh, the uh, hydrogen, and the oxygen, all right? And then apply them to different areas, okay? Uh, by electrolysis. So one will go to the positive, the other one will go to the negative, okay? And then, so, how is a sound produced? It's produced from a chemical reaction between calcium carbide, which is two, it's actually one, one element, one, one uh, ingredient, all right, one element, but it's smoking. So how, how is it that they get the calcium carbide, all right? 
they take rhinestone and they take uh, calcium and they take coke and they snuff it. What does snuffing mean? Who knows what snuffing that means? I mean, And then like what uh, blacksmiths do? Yeah, blacksmiths, they add similar to it. So they, they fuse them together, right? Like uh, blacksmiths, they snuff stuff. Like back in the Egyptian time, 2,500 mm. years ago, they were smelting metal. They were actually just merging the metals with heat. Okay? Hammering them in together. So smelting means that it's fused together. They're fused together. Okay? These two elements are fused together. All right, they cook together in an oven, and they make one block like this. Calcium carbide. So it's like, uh, so they take this rock and they crush it. They have an earth crushing machine that crushes it into the powder, into a granular powder, into the portable generator from the top. What happens is the carbon from this unites with the hydrogen from the water, right, to form two products. One is a cellulite, which bubbles out and goes into the tank. And the other product is called calcium hydroxide, which goes to the, to the bottom of it. It's more like soot, okay? So why, what is the calcium used for specifically? It's actually the collector, it's actually the flux. So, so the calcium is the flux, so we'll go over what a flux does. I'm gonna write it down over here. It's the flux, you can look up this word for all more flux, okay? So I'm gonna write it down here. So the calcium on the right one is the, the deactivizer or the collector, okay? So, now what? Limestone is found in a lot of these electrodes that you're going to be using in thick, thick welding. There's a lot of calcium here. So the granular powder is actually based onto the rod that you use here. You see this rod here? That's the same rod. It's just a, a larger diameter rod. It's just a piece of rod with granular powder on it based onto it. They, they pass it into an oven. And then they put like a clay on it, and then it goes through an oven and it's baked on. So it actually adheres to it. So you're not going to be able to take it off. Okay? So it's actually, and yeah, there's, there's limestone on it. And these electrodes are uh, covered in these fluxes. It's uh, coated, it's coated with limestone, right? Huh? It's coated, like it's coated with it's, limestone. It's a, yeah, it's, like a, it's a coating. It's like, um, like a clay, like a clay type substance. It's, 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 a lot of it has uh, silicon. Some of it has right. um, calcium, which is limestone, um, and other ingredients, okay? Um, but you can, uh, if you get a can of, um, if you get a can, you can actually read the ingredients in the, uh, the can, all right, of uh, flux of the, oh, um, okay. Yeah, I keep on losing. You guys can see me while I'm losing my monitor? See me? Yeah. Because I'm losing my, I'm losing the picture, your picture. So, so it's all right. So I'm just, I'm just gonna, because every time I'm losing the picture, I'm thinking that you guys don't see me. That's why I'm stopping. Okay. So you, you guys can still see me, even though I'm losing the, my monitor. Then. Anyway, let's go on this side over here, and let me, let me just write what I. Uh, this is your book, but I'm gonna give you the page you know, right? So the chemical reaction allows the carbon to unite with the hydrogen from the water and it breaks it apart of course and then it synthesizes it and it puts it back together of course being that they're, they're removing the oxygen from it they're trying to get the oxygen which is a, a contaminant which they're trying to get it out so the, the oxygen comes over here to the bottom of the tank usually right to the sludge area with uh, some of the hydrogen Right, and some of the calcium, and they'll clean the tank out and then they'll redo it again. So, you can write it down the carbon. Uh, what they do is they'll actually be able to, um, 
fraction is separated a little bit. And leave uh, a space, like an air pocket between the um, elements. And then they're, and they're able to, um, the wells of the water, able to like make the air pocket in that area. Okay. Alright, so you guys got that, that this part, right? 